In the past, we looked at little nav map already, but until now, it was not supported with Flight Simulator 2024. But there's some good news, now it is. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can install it and use it in combination with Flight Simulator 2024. Let's roll the intro and then let's look at the details. So for those who want to have a different flight planner compared to the default flight planner from Flight Simulator 2024 or maybe from SimBrief, there's Little Nav Map. Little Nav Map is a really great tool developed by uh, this uh, nice person, Alex. Don't know his last name, but he created a really cool tool which allows you to plan your flights using, I would say, a really easy interface, but also follow your flights, right, with Little Nav Connect. In this video, we're going to look at how you can install the latest version and then also how to make sure that it works with Flight Simulator 2024. Keep in mind that there are some limitations due to the changes in Flight Simulator 2024. So the first thing you of course need to do is go to releases and there you will find the Windows 64-bit installer which is both compatible with Flight Simulator as well as X-Plane for those who are playing X-Plane. The good news is that there are also different versions like the Mac OS and the Linux versions. However, since Flight Simulator 2024 is only available for Windows, you likely don't want to download that one. The good thing is that you can simply download it by clicking the button, right? If you click the button and you can see I already downloaded it, but I'm showing it again, you will get a prompt over here, right? So that's really interesting. So keep that in mind. If you see this one, then make sure that you click on the three dots and then say keep. It will warn you, right? Because it couldn't verify the file. It has to do with, I'd say, signing the file that's not being done. And then you can press the show more and then say keep anyway. And then you can see the file is secured. So once that has been done, you can of course install it. So I go to my downloads folder in this case, and here you see both downloads, right? Similar size, a different name, and simply double click the version. If I double click it, it will show me a prompt, right? Because it's from an, un, I would say, unverified publisher. And then I can simply go to these uh, steps to install the version. So it will install it in a uh, little nav map. There might be some issues with it if you install it over the existing version, but let's give it a try. Let's do that. So hitting next, right, associate the files. This makes sure that if there are files which are from the LNM PLN, uh, per, I would say, uh, extension or the LNM perf or the LNM uh, layout, they will be connected to a little nav map. So this for the fly plan itself, right? The uh, LNM PLN, the LNM perf is the performance file for the aircrafts and the LNM layout is for the layouts. Uh, optionally, you can also associate other extensions like the uh, fly plan files well, with FSX, P3D, MSFS, the PLN files and the FMLs files for explain. And of course, you can create a shortcut, but that's really up to you. I'm accepting the default one, so simply click Next and then I press Install, and then we'll uh, still would say install the software. However, there are some things which you need to be aware of, right? So let's would say click this away and then uh, go down the list, and then you will see uh, the Flight Simulator 2024 version, but also the scenery library because currently there are some limitations, right? So there are some limitations, since Little Nav Map has to load the scenery library to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, the SimConnect interface and cannot rely on files anymore. That has to do with the change in the uh, Flight Simulator 2024, where data is being streamed to your machine and not installed on your machine. All right, so that's a huge difference. This requires a full new data uh, compiler implementation, which they have added. So what you can do is you can click on the FAQ to show those uh, limitations. So let's do that. We're going to go to the limitations and here you see the limitations, right? So the simulator has to run to load the scenery library. So this is the first thing you need to make sure that Flight Simulator 2024 runs because else you don't have the content and won't be able to import the stuff. Then the simulator connection in Little Nav Map has to be paused during loading. Uh, you will not see aircraft updates in Little Nav Map, but you can use Little Nav Map normally while loading. So that's say also a limitation. And then the loading of the airports and nav aids takes about 10 to 50 minutes uh, before loading times. Neat improvements are fixed in the SimConnect interface that has to provide a worldwide uh, list of nav aids. So this is, is kind of a 
well, a downside, right? Because if you were used to use it in Flight Simulator 2020, you already had all that content, so you could be easily, would say, uh, retrieve that content much faster. Um, so there's a workaround, right? Is uh, is used to load all navigators which are not connected to procedures or airways until SIM Connect interface is being fixed. So there's dependency on the SIM Connect interface, which is really, I would say, on the uh, Sobo Microsoft end, which they need to fix, but the, currently there's no fix for that. Then there's also an option to de the detection of the add-on airport, which is not possible, right? So if you right-click on an airport icon on the map, the airport search result table on the flight plan table and use the function mark airport as add-on, then you can simply mark an airport as an add-on if you want. There are several other limitations, but I will not go to the full list, right? So uh, keep this in mind. It's not 100% the same as uh, with Flight Simulator 2020, but that makes sense, right? So because there are huge changes on the flight similar side also. Things which are really important, especially for flight planning, is that the airport aprons are not available, only the taxiways and the airline codes for parking are missing. Uh, that's also something which you need to be aware of, that that uh, could, we say, affect uh, the experience you have. Then, going back to this list because there are some more things right so you cannot import the flight plans into flight simulator uh in or three into the online flight planner there is of course with a workaround which is to uh copy the description of the flight plan and then copy it into the online flight planner i will show it within a few seconds uh, so no worry so now while talking right it has installed everything right you can view the change log you can launch a little nav map but also open the uh, manual uh, start page which allows you to say to explain a few things so let's only uncheck uh the uh, this one and then let's say let's make sure that we're following the guidelines which were provided right the sim has to run uh, to load the scenery library uh, so let's hit finish uh, it will load and then you will see this right so this is the start manual which will help you uh, to multiple steps it will show you which directory is using it will also show you how to load the scenery library and this is really important because if you're using um flight simulator 2024 right you need to say make some changes so let's first see okay hey uh let me we can okay this and then we can see okay hey it contains a vocal menu right so you need to uh, use the uh uh, dialog window load scenery uh, library opens to load the uh, simulator scenery into the little nav map database so this is really important because as already let's say explained in the manual you first need to start flight simulator right so let's do that so we're going to start flight simulator in this case uh, so flight simulator 2024 here we go and then we need to wait this will of course take some time right so uh, i will pause the video and then we'll continue once flight simulator has started so as you can see, Flight Simulator has now started. So we can go back to Little Nav Map. And Little Nav Map, by default, if you start it for the first time, will show this window. And here you've got the drop down, right? You can choose either Flight Simulator 2024 or 2020. In my case, I want to use 2024. And there you see that the folder has already been pre-populated. So the other thing which you see is that it has never been updated, which means it's a blank database. The database version is 14.29 as well as the program version, but that's up to the, I would say, developer of the uh, little nav map, which means Alex. So once we've done that, we can press load. Uh, here it says, okay, hey, the connection to flight simulator has to be paused while uh, loading uh, flight, lo loading data from the simulator. You will not see user aircraft updates while loading. Well, that makes sense. And it will take 10 to 15 minutes. In this case, you can either check the box here that you don't want to see the message anymore, or you can press okay. Uh, then it will say, okay, hey, you're putting uh, the scene reliability loading window into the background uh, and continue. And here it says, okay, hey, I've got an issue, right? It says, hey, not matching a similar interface or other sim connect problem. Uh, make sure that you use the right version of little nav map to the right simulator, right? So it says, okay, you have to restart flight or little nav map to resume. So I'm going to press okay now, uh, and then I'm going to try to reconnect. So you can press connect and see if it works. And likely it has to do with the fact that I would say I was uh, starting this tool for earlier than Flight Simulator. Uh, so let me see if it works. Uh, so Flight Simulator 2024, you can see it's empty. And now I can say load scenery uh, library and this will now start working. So if you experience the same issue, then simply click OK and then go to the menu uh, scenery uh, library 
uh, and make sure that you're connected to, in this case, uh, Flight Simulator 2024, and then see what's happened, what happens, right? Uh, this might take some time. The weird thing that it still shows that it's disconnected, so I'm not sure if it really loads things successfully. Uh, so it could be that I need to restart a little nav map, right? I can do that, but let, let me give it a few minutes. Uh, if you see the same thing, then I would say, okay, hey, maybe you should reconnect because I do think that this will not work because it goes far too fast, to be honest. So let me click cancel in this case. And then uh, close little nav map. And then let's restart little nav map, right? Here we go. Little nav map. <clears throat> Accepting the error message, right? Now you can see that the aircraft connection is there, right? It also says connected. So likely if you experience the same issue, then close little nav map and then make sure that you start flight simulator afterwards. Then go to this menu, right? Uh, scenery library. Make sure that uh, the option here is checked. Uh, make sure that you uh, disable these options, right? Uh, it now says automatically, but if you use this one, then you could end up in uh, weird situations. So go to this one and then say, do not use a Navigraph. And it has to do with the fact that if you're using a Navigraph, it will go back to RAC cycle 1801, while the latest is a 2502, which will likely would say cause some issues. So pressing the button again, you go into this window and say, okay, hey, it will pause, well, that's fine. Uh, then it will say, okay, hey, uh, you put the scenery in background and now it will start loading. So let's see if this works. Uh, this will take, of course, a lot of time, likely. So what I will do is uh, I will pause the video for now and then we'll let's say uh, return once it has completed because as mentioned already, it can take up a serious amount of time, really a, a 15 minutes. Uh, that's what mentioned also in the documentation. So see you back uh, once it has progressed some data. So after some time it has imported and in my case it did take 8 minutes so not too long. And you can see that it imported over 80,000 airports, more than 4,000 ILS, more than 2,000 NDBs, more than almost 200,000 uh, waypoints and roughly 4,000 VORs, right? And then I can simply check the option use this database. That will give you a warning, right? You're using Flight Simulator 2020 or 2024 uh, with the Navi uh, Graph uh, Nav data update. Uh, you should update the little nav map data uh, with the FMS, right? So this would say is a smart detection if you're using the Navi Graph, let's say database, which I, in my case, I'm doing. Then it will give you also a nice warning about that. Uh, but it also says, okay, hey, you can change the mode manually uh, in the uh, menu to go to scenery library in Navigraph using Navigraph 8. Uh, and then it says, okay, connect to the scenery library mode now. Uh, then you can say uh, yes. Uh, and then it uh, should be good to go. Uh, as mentioned already, right, I'm using the Navigraph database, uh, which it showed me an error for, so that's good. If you don't use it, then you don't need to worry. Uh, if you have the Navigraph update, right? Then you need to make sure that you install the latest because else you will get issues. So in my case, I want to use the scenery library, uh, not from Navigraph, but from uh, Flight Simulator itself. So make sure that you uncheck this box. So go to Navigraph, RSC cycle 1801 and disable it because else you will use the old one, which is likely not what you want to do. If you want to know how to update the Navigraph REC cycle within, uh, in this case, a little nav map, then have a look at the description of this video because I have a link to the video uh, where I describe how you update the REC cycle in Navigraph. Uh, so now we're good, right? We can start planning our flight uh, or you can start planning your flight. However, that's not being covered in this video. Uh, I will show you uh, one later on. Uh, so have a look at my channel because I'm definitely going to post a new video about how to use this little nav map, the new version in combination with, for example, the online flight planner in Flight Simulator 2024. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then press the like button because that also lets me know if I'm going to say if this is a video which you like and also you might want to see more about. And based on that, I can adjust my content. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back next time.